Hey everybody, this is Kelsey with Regal Plastics. Today we are demonstrating how you can polish acrylic edges at home. To demonstrate, we are using a one inch piece of clear acrylic that has been cut with a circular saw. However, these techniques should work with any thickness of material that you're using. Before we get into the flame polishing, it's crucial that we create the smoothest edge possible. So the cleaner the edge, the better the end product. Here's an example of flame polishing right after cutting with the circular saw. And as you can see, there are striations clearly visible. If you have a router, this would be a great place to start, as it really can help you reduce time sanding later. If you polish after using just a router, you will still have visible lines, especially with thicker pieces of acrylic. If you don't have a router or your acrylic is too thick to use on a router, a razor blade is another option. Hold the razor blade perpendicular to the plastic and with firm, even pressure, scrape along the surface. This will help level the material, it reduces the sharp edges left over from cutting the material, and it'll reduce the time spent sanding later. Here's what the edge looked like after we got done scraping with the razor blade. If you chose to polish after this step, you can see that the clarity has really improved. In our opinion, sanding is the most crucial step. Depending on what you have available, you can use either a power sander or sand by hand. As with woodwork, start with a coarser grain sandpaper and move to a finer one. If you're sanding by hand, our fabricators recommend keeping a cup of water by you to dip the sandpaper in. It helps the process go faster if the sandpaper is wet. Keep sanding your edge until it's smooth to the touch. You should not feel any sharp points or ridges. Make sure you're completely happy with it because once you flame polish, you can't go back and correct any imperfections. Here's what our edge looked like after we got done sanding. And here's what it looked like after flame polishing. As you can see, it has by far the best clarity. The last step before you polish is to wipe down the edge with a clean, dry cloth. We don't want any leftover plastic causing imperfections in the final product. Also, don't forget to peel back your paper or film a few inches. Now on to the actual flame polishing. You can use a matte gas torch found at your local hardware store. The flame should be blue and no bigger than this. Again, make sure you're really happy with your edge. Once you flame polish, you cannot go back and do any of the edge prepping methods that we showed you today. To flame polish, hold the flame about 2 inches from the edge of the plastic and move steadily across. If you hold it too long in one spot, it can cause the plastic to catch fire. Here's another example with a little bit thinner piece of acrylic. I would highly recommend practicing a couple times with a scratch piece of plastic just to make sure you have the technique down. Here's our favorite part, the before and after. That's all for flame polishing, but we would love to see your completed project or hear what you'd like to see from us next down in the comment section. Also, follow the link in the description for a handout on flame polishing. Thanks again for watching.